Hello, friends. Welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer. Take a sip of life. God is with me, but more, God is within me. Let me dwell for a moment on God's life-giving presence in my body, in my mind, in my heart, as I am here right now. Isaiah 40, 27-31, The Message Why would you ever complain, O Jacob, or whine, Israel, saying, God has lost track of me, he doesn't care what happens to me, don't you know anything? Haven't you been listening? God doesn't come and go. God lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired out, doesn't pause to catch his breath, and he knows everything inside and out. He energizes those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts, for even young people tire and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall. But those who wait upon God get fresh strength. They spread their wings and soar like eagles. They run and don't get tired. They walk and don't lag behind. Genetics, what can it mean? The ability to perfect the physical and mental characteristics of every unborn child. In the not too distant future, our DNA will determine everything about us. A minute drop of blood, saliva, or a single hair determines where you can work, who you should marry, what you're capable of achieving. In a society where success is determined by science, divided by the standards of perfection, one man's only chance... How do you expect to pull this off? I don't know exactly. ...is to hide his own identity. This is the last day that you're going to be you and I'm going to be me. ...by borrowing someone else's. Congratulations. What about the interview? That was it. This film was groundbreaking when it was released in 1997, stating that in the near future... Our DNA will determine everything about us, where we can work, who we should marry, what we're capable of achieving. The only way for the protagonist to survive is to hide his own identity because of his imperfections, which were deemed unacceptable in his society. Aren't you relieved that although there are aspects to this film that are quite disturbing, our value is very clearly not determined by science or governments or, in fact, by anyone's opinion. Our value is determined only by God, who has created not only everything that is, but also each one of us in his image, which means that he has endowed us with immeasurable worth. There are no degenerates found anywhere among the members of the human race. Every child is deeply loved and wanted by him. Not one is a mistake or an unexpected surprise to him. God will never lose track of you or of anyone else. He loves each one of us without limit and very much cares what happens to us. He values each one of us as priceless treasures, deeply loved children, no matter how we are labeled or measured by other people or systems. Wait upon God and get fresh strength from Him. You don't have to be perfect to be loved. You are loved just as you are because God created you in His image. That's good news. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, 
so control our wills that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray you, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.